everybody, it's Am here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back with a tutorial. Um, today I thought I would show you how I've made this lovely little paper handbag. Um, I haven't done anything like this for a while so yeah, it's um, this was just my prototype so we're going to make a few odd like little adjustments here and there but it's got some sweet little pockets on the side. Um, I just closed mine with Velcro um, and it's a good size inside as well so I'll read you the dimensions roughly it's about um, seven, seven and a half inches in length and it's about four inches tall and it should be nearly two inches uh, two and a, two and one eighths deep, so it's a good size bag. So <clears throat> I've got some bits and pieces ready for it. Um, so to make the actual base of the bag, you're going to need two pieces of cardstock, and we're going to join these together. So we're going to just score them both in the exact same way. And I think I've um, disposed of my measurements. Just a second. Got my here. So let's have a look. So they both need to measure eleven and a half inches by six and a quarter, and we're going to score them both exactly the same. Okay, so <clears throat> on the <clears throat> sorry on the long side, we are going to score at two and a quarter and nine nine and a quarter. So two and a quarter, nine and a quarter. And the short side is at two and a quarter. So do that with the other piece, two and a quarter, nine and a quarter, and two and a quarter on the short side. Okay, so you will end up with two of them. Okay, so just fold and burnish. All right. Now, what we're going to do is one on one of these, we're going to remove both of these squares because we don't need them. Okay just on one of them more. So just get rid of them on one. Okay. Because what's going to happen is the back, it's going to go together, it's going to sit together like this, okay? That's why we don't need <clears throat> both of those little squares. So on the other one, let me see which way we have to cut this again. So like that. And that's going to go around there. So, yeah, we need to come in from the side here and just cut up here. Okay. <clears throat> and then just take, just mitre in on the sides there. And I'll just remove the little score line. 
excuse me, when I might it in there so there's nothing getting in the way. Right, so that's that. So as I said, what will happen is it will go together like that, all right? One side will go in and then this little flap will then come up and that will close and then inside we can't see the joining flap because we're concealing it in between them two. <clears throat> so you need to cover your paper, your uh, card. So I've got two pieces of patterned paper which are six and three quarters by three and three quarters and I'm going to have one on the front and the back and I've just put score tape on here okay so we've covered both of them so we can join them together now so the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to put some um, glue on here So some glue on there, join this together. Okay, and then bring this up so we need glue on this one here. Let's make sure they're stuck. Okay, so that is the basis of your little bag. Now to do the lid. <coughs> I've got a piece of card which is <clears throat> five and a quarter by seven inches and then I've got a piece of paper which is just shy of that so it should be roughly five and one eighth by six and seven eighths just so you've got a little border and I've put, covered it in tape because what we want to try and do is kind of like fold the, the closure round and on this one I put glue but you, can you see you've got the little the little glue marks when I had the the fine tip which is blocked up um, and I didn't want that so I'm hoping the tape is going to eliminate that so peel this off just make sure that that's stuck <clears throat> and then what I did was I just took like just a little round bottle of glue and just kind of start to just roll the paper around a little bit just to help it, for, you know, because 
I mean, there's nothing, a lot, a lot you can do really because see now it's picking up all the shapes of the tape. But what you could do is just use the paper because obviously once you put the card on, it makes it thicker. So you could just do the lid with the paper and then it would eliminate any of that, to be honest. It wouldn't be as strong, but because what we're going to do is the lid is going to get stuck just on the back. I don't want this to go. And then, as I said, it's just going to come round like this. I might actually have mine this way. So I'm going to put a couple of bits of tape along the bottom. Okay. And this is going to get stuck on our bag. So you want the back to be the bit where you can see the join there. And then you want to obviously be careful that the tape doesn't show through. So you want to make sure you stick it where the tape isn't seen. Which I think is roughly about here. See what I mean? And stick that down there. So that is the start of our bag. And then we need to put our our handle on. So for the handle, I've got some card, which is three and a quarter by nine inches and then I've got a piece of the paper which is half an inch by eight and three quarters because I'm going to score either end of this at half an inch so half an inch and eight and a half Okay. so our handle is going to sit on like that but then obviously I want this piece of paper over the top Okay, so that's going to be our handle. And what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to secure it on with a couple of eyelets. Just like that. So I need to kind of take a pencil and just put a little mark where I want the handle to go. Okay, so roughly I'm just eyeballing it. I mean, if you want, you can measure it. So I know that I need the eyelets in the vicinity of them two marks. So I'm gonna put them in and uh, I'll be back when it's done. Okay, I've put the um, eyelets in, so it looks tidy as well because I've put a couple of uh, washers on the back. 
Now, before I show you how to do the pockets and stuff, we're going to quickly use these that I got sent from BB Craft because I'll show you how I do them. So I've just picked this sweet paper that's got little bumblebees on because we're going to need this to dry for a little bit so if we just prepare it now and then I've just got one of the little cabochons that the scent and I've got some glossy accents this is what I use and I find it works the best so just pick I'm just going to pick one of the little bees and just put just a small amount of glossy accents on like that okay and then take your little cabochon and just press and you'll see the glue just kind of disperse around it okay and then we're just gonna let that dry for a little bit and then cut it out and it's really easy and then you just will glue it in one of the keys okay and uh, I think we could probably just use this to glue it in as well so to do the pockets I've already done one to show you how you do them so you need where is it the um you need two pieces which are three and three quarters by three inches and you want to score them so on the, the short side you're going to score at half an inch on each side okay so half and two and a half and then on the bottom you're going to score again at half and then you're going to take a ruler and from this bottom corner score line you're going to score to halfway there so from the bottom roughly to about halfway we're going to score so can you see that there and then on the other side because I didn't want the pockets to just sit on and be like just kind of stuck there I wanted them to be like run down flat can you see I didn't want them just stuck on a square pocket that's why I've done them like this and then just fold the two score lines that you've made the straight one and the diagonal one okay and that's and then when you fold them in they will run in like that okay which I think is better than just having them you know like stuck on okay <clears throat> and in the bottom we'll need to cut away these two little square corners and they will hold the, they will hold those in place and then you'll have your little pocket like that okay which I think looks better so we need tape on here so we need some all the way down here and then we need some a couple 
lights on here. Okay, and that's what your pockets will be. And then you will remove the tape from the two sides. And then that will hold that bit there like that, okay? And these will get stuck on the sides of our little bag. Oops, and I forgot to punch the little finger hole. I've just got a three quarters of an inch hole punch. And just a little finger hole. And then just push them up a little bit like that. And then take your bag and they're just going to get stuck just on the side, oops, see. on the side like that. And then you can just take a bone folder or something. Stuck. And there, I think they look really cute like that. So much better as well. So I also put my little Velcro dots on there too. So we're now gonna. Okay, so we've got our cute little pockets on. And our little bag closes with the velcro which I think already it's looking really really sweet now the back I've got this die that I wanted to use I've never used it yet and I want it's a little rose pocket and I wanted to just pop it on the back like that so I'll put the link for that and I've just put tape so <clears throat> just peel the tape off Yeah, I got this from AliExpress. It was only a few pounds, but I've seen it used quite a lot and I thought, oh, I'm going to use this on this bag. So I'm just going to stick it on here and it makes a really cute little pocket. So we've got a few little pockets there. We've got our rose one on the back and we've got our two little cute ones on the side. So a beautiful little bag this. Um, I've got this lovely flower here that's going to be like my little closure which I'm going to hot glue on so I've got my hot glue gun I'm just going to dab a little bit on there and I'm going to just Attach this on the bag. There we go. So we've got our lovely little flower for the closure. So we're going to move on to our little charms. Okay, so we've got our lovely little pockets on, our little flower, and we're going to do the charm. So, basically just take this and then you want to just cut all the way around it. Okay, so that's what you end up with. And then take your key <clears throat> and then oops, it should just slot straight in there. So I think what I might do is just put a little bit of the 
glossy accents just around the little bit where the key will stick to because this is really good stuff this really strong and it dries quite quick so I've just lined around there and then hopefully it will stick yeah it's sticking already so we'll let that dry and that's what you have beautiful so to make a charm because I've had some people ask us how I would do them so what I've got is I've just cut a selection of ribbons and trims Sorry about that. I've just cut a selection of ribbons and trims roughly all to the same length. Just whatever you fancy, okay? And then I just line them all together. Okay. And then I've got one of these little like rings that just open like that and a tiny little like loom band I've also got some of the twine that I got from BB Craft as well and I've also made this cute little tag and that's the one of the sentiments from the BB Craft dies and the tassel and I've just uh, glued them onto a little die cut and tied some twine around them so what I do is open the little ring okay and then just kind of have them roughly all on here where I want them you can, you can always adjust them later okay like that and then just close it off and then I just take the little band so it's easier to go in from the top and go through all of them like little edges and then I just tie it round a couple of times I might get this one round three yep and that just secures it onto the little ring. <clears throat> like I say, you can adjust it if you've got longer bits. So I might just trim that a little bit. And also this sequin trim a bit. And that's how I make the charms so take some of the of the twine and I'm gonna just tie it over the little elastic band and you can use ribbon as well if you want and then turn it round and tie it the other way just so I know it's secure okay and then take the little charm that we made slot it through and then I tie it again and then now I'm going to tie it in a bow. And then just adjust the bow. Let's try. 
trim that a little bit and that's how I make the charm and then <clears throat> all I have to do is then just open it and what you can do is if your handle's small enough which this one is this one no so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna punch a small little hole with the cropper dial just in the handle just like that and then I'm just gonna hook this through oh, why is that not staying shut now for some reason it isn't staying shut which it did before Oh, it's because it's snapped. <laughs> oh no, right, what we'll have to do is get another. I'll try and slot it through. No, let me sort this out and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I just must have picked a, a slack one really. I mean, I don't think it's snapped, I think it's just come out because there's a little pin that holds them together so I don't know. Anyway, I've got the charm on there and it's got the lovely little key on which that glossy accents has, hold, has held it great. Um, and then the little tag that I made, I might actually pop this on the other side. I think what I'm going to do is just tie it around the handle in a little knot cut the twine a bit and there we go how gorgeous is that so pretty but our little pockets our little side pockets and all our little charms beautiful really happy with that so yeah i hope you'll have a go at making one um and i will be back again next week with some more tutorials i'll also put all the info on my blog measurements and whatnot so yeah thanks for watching take care and bye for now